guys, thanks for stopping by. In today's video, we are going to look at fun and flirty summer ready pieces from Rotita. My name is Teresa. I'm so glad that you're here. Now let's get started. Now, I don't know about you, but I see ads for Rotita all of the time on Facebook and Instagram. And I've often wondered how these pieces look in person and how they look on, let's just say, a real person. And that's why I was so thrilled when Rotita reached out to me to sponsor today's video. But with that said, you ladies know that I will always give you my honest opinion. So we're going to go over the good, the bad, and the ugly. I wanna jump right into the try-ons. Let's look at the first piece. I want to start with the top that I'm wearing, and full disclosure, this may be my favorite piece in this haul, although there's another one that I'm looking at on my rack that I am crazy over, but I want to tell you about this one. They're calling this the Layered Bell Sleeve Light Gray V-neck T-shirt. The original price is $21.77, and I can tell you that on the Rotita website, there seems to always be a sale so it's unlikely you would even pay that much although honestly for the quality of this top I think that's a great starting point this comes in sizes small through 2xl it is available in four colors and I am very tempted to go back and get this same top in black and I'll tell you why in just a moment the fabric is 65% cotton and 35% polyester the care says to wash separately and then to hang or lay flat to dry. I have to say that my first impression of this fabric is that it feels like a luxe fabric. I love this combination. I noticed that this was pretty long on me because I'm short-waisted, so I did a little front tuck, but I also decided to see how it would look tied off to the side. And when I took the tie out, there was no wrinkling. I actually took this top and crumpled it up in my hand and I was hard pressed to put a wrinkle into it, which is a good thing because I do not iron. I think the sleeves are so pretty. I'm sure that you can see these better in the try-ons that you're no doubt watching off to the side. I have shown a couple of tops very similar to this in the past, but there are two things that set this one apart from the ones that I shared with you before. One is the fabric. It has such a nice feel but also this is a little bit more upper arm coverage the one that I showed you before cut in and kind of shows that awkward area right where your arm joins your chest this one does not it gives me complete upper arm coverage something else that I want to mention right now it is very hot and humid here in New Jersey and this top is lightweight breathable and comfortable which is why I decided to film this video wearing this I really like this top and I'm very seriously considering picking this one up in another color. Let's look at the next piece. Next, I have another top to share with you. And although I personally would wear this on a day-to-day -day basis, I could also see wearing this as a special occasion piece. It is really striking with this strap detail. They're calling this the Black Lace Stitching Decorative Button Tank Top. It is $22.98 regular price. This comes in sizes small through 2XL. The fabric is 100% rayon, which I'll talk about in just a moment. And it does say to hand or machine wash cold gentle, and you can either tumble dry, I would not do that personally, or lay flat to dry. I think that's the route that I would take. I love so much about this top. Starting with this flattering V neckline, it has these big buttons that are not functional, but they're just a decorative touch. Even looking in the viewfinder, they pop even though it's black against black. But my favorite part are these straps. These have this lattice detail. Now I do wanna mention that the straps are not adjustable. And honestly, I don't think they could be because of the way they're designed. Even with my narrow shoulders, they worked for me, so I was thrilled about that. Just for your point of reference, I do have on a strapless bra with this in the try-ons. Now, you probably could wear a bra with a nude strap that would kind of hide underneath this lattice work, but for me personally, I just went with a strapless bra. Now, full disclosure, I have a love-hate relationship with rayon. 
I don't like to have to do any special care instructions, but I love how lightweight and breathable it is. I also feel that it drapes beautifully. I think this top is so striking that for me personally, it's worth using a little bit of special care. I would put this in a garment bag, wash it in cold water on gentle, and then hang to dry. This is so lightweight that this would dry very quickly. I specifically wanted to try a wide range of pieces from Rotita, so I'm going to share everything from casual like the top that I have on to a little bit more elevated for a special occasion. And I have to say that even though this dress looks chic on, this is crazy comfortable. They're calling this the wide strap ladder cutout pocket detail dress. It is $35.98. This one comes in sizes small through extra large. I ordered a size small and I did find this one to be true to size as well. The fabric is 95% polyester and 5% spandex. This also has easy care instructions, machine wash cold and tumble dry. This one features easy pullover styling, a ladder detail, and it has darts at the bust. I really like the way this particular dress is cut. The bodice is semi-fitted so it's very figure flattering, but then the skirt part falls gently away so that it's not overly clingy. This dress also has hidden side pockets. I was a little bit surprised when I found them when I had this on because I could not see them. They do not add any bulk to the hip area. I love everything about the way this dress is cut. This neckline is one of my favorite silhouettes. I think it is so flattering. I think more so than a spaghetti strap because there's a little bit more coverage. But the best part is, even though it has this intricate work at the top, it does not have a fussy button at the neck. I can never manipulate those. This does have a seam down the back of the dress, so it does give it shape without making it clingy at all. I found this to be so easy to just pop over the head. And then it has this fun lattice detail on the front. Now there's a little bit of a V cutout. I personally did not find this to be too low. I do not feel like it shows too much cleavage at all. And I'm very funny about that. And then on the back, it has this keyhole cutout, again, without the buttons. The fabric on this one feels surprisingly nice for the price, I will say. It is not tissue paper thin. I did not find it to be clingy at all, but it's not overly heavy. I love a maxi dress in the summertime, especially, and I could easily see wearing this to an event. I wanna talk about the color for just a minute because I think this is striking. Sometimes when you buy a purple piece, it looks more eggplant. This is a true royal purple. I love jewel tones and I think the color of this is striking. Love this one. Let's look at the next piece. The next piece that I have to share with you is a midi dress. I was really drawn to the color and the pattern of this one. They're calling this the puff sleeve smocked green printed dress. It is $32.87 regular price. It comes in sizes small through extra large. The fabric is 100% polyester, which I'll talk about in just a minute. The care instructions are super easy. You can machine wash cold and tumble dry. This dress features easy pullover styling, and then it has these pretty puff sleeves. The bodice is smocked, so that it defines the waist without making it too tight or too clingy. I found the smocking to be quite comfortable actually. This is a midi length, so the skirt gently falls away to an A-line, which I think is so flattering. And then it has this pretty flounce at the hem. I did order this in my regular size small, and overall it fit very well, so I will say that it fits true to size. The issue that I had with this, and it's just me, is I have very narrow shoulders and the sleeves on this kept wanting to fall off of my shoulder. I mention this because if you have narrow shoulders, the top of this may be a little wide for you. I did discover during the process that I could also wear this off the shoulder, and then I didn't have to worry about it falling down, but that's a side note. If you have average width shoulders, I'm sure that this would fit you impeccably. I just love the smocking. I love how it adds definition to the waist, 
and then the way the skirt falls away it is so flattering and so feminine I want to comment on this polyester in particular I am not always the biggest fan of polyester but this one has a nice feel to it it doesn't have that slick polyester feel if that makes sense I found this to be a very comfortable fabrication with all of that said I think my favorite thing about this dress is actually the sleeve I love the silhouette of this it's a gentle puff sleeve and then it has this wide smocked elastic which was very comfortable on the arms it's the same smocking that is on the bodice I think the shape and silhouette of this sleeve is lovely hey real quick if you're enjoying this video so far be sure and give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below that way you won't miss any of my future videos let's look at the next piece next I have another midi dress to share with you and I do I do want to point out that because I'm 5'4", a lot of these look like a maxi dress on me, which actually I have a maxi dress coming up next that was way too long, but I don't want to get ahead of myself. They're calling this the smocked plant print sleeveless blue dress. The original price is $31.98. This comes in sizes small through extra large. Just as your point of reference, I'm sharing it in a size small and I found this to fit perfectly to size. The fabric is 100% polyester, which I will talk about. This has super easy care instructions. It says to machine wash cold and tumble dry. This dress features easy pullover styling. It does have figure flattering smocking at the bodice, just like the green dress that I just shared with you. I just think that is so pretty to cinch in the waist but still be comfortable. It does have adjustable ties at the shoulder, so I was able to get the perfect fit with this one. And then the A-line skirt gently falls away. I am in love with the color combination and the pattern of this one. It has this bright optic white background and then this beautiful, it's between a cobalt blue and a navy blue leaf print. As I mentioned, it does have smocking. Now, I tied the straps at a bow. I think that is so pretty and so feminine. I want to point out that this is a partially lined dress. And what I mean by that, it is lined to the knee. That is my preference always with a dress this long. I like it to be lined to the knee so that you can't see through it, but then it also gives the bottom of the dress beautiful movement because it's not too heavy. The polyester on this dress feels very similar to the green dress that I just shared with you. It has more of a silky feel than a slick feel, if that makes any sense. I want to mention that for me personally, because I get hot flashes all of the time, I typically don't wear something that's polyester that covers my arms. And I bring that up specifically because this is a sleeveless dress. It doesn't bother me that it's polyester because I can still breathe. I think this dress is just stunning. When I put this on, I just wanted to twirl, and I thought that the drape of it was beautiful. Now I want to share a dress with you that did not work for me. They're calling this the Cutout Neck Spaghetti Strap Maxi Dress. The original price is $39.98, so it was the most expensive piece in this haul. This comes in sizes small through XXXL. The fabric is 95% polyester and 5% spandex, which I really like because it gives it just the right amount of stretch, and it has a nice weight to it, but it still feels breathable to me. It also has super easy care instructions. It's machine wash cold and tumble dry. This dress features easy pullover styling, and then it has this fun and flirty strappy detail at the top. These straps are not adjustable, but you can tell by the way it's configured it would be almost impossible to have all of these straps be adjustable. Now if you have average width shoulders, I'm sure that this will be fine on you. The top of this dress is semi-fitted and then it falls away gently into an A-line. Just like with the purple maxi dress that I shared with you, this one also has pockets. And once again, I did not notice any bump or added bulk at the hip. Something else that I want to point out about this fabric, even though this dress looks super chic on, this is crazy comfortable. It literally feels like wearing a nightgown. This fabric has the feel of a favorite well-worn t-shirt. I absolutely love all of the detail at the top of the dress starting with the straps and the way they're configured and then it has this pretty ladder detail 
It also has a v-neck on the back with more of this ladder detail. Even though I have narrow shoulders, the top of this dress still fit me very well. Here's where this dress went off the track for me. As I mentioned, I am five foot four, and no kidding, this dress was about a foot too long on me. I just wanted to mention that because if you are under five six and do not have on wedges, this dress is going to be long on you. But if you are taller than that, you could probably even wear this with flats. I personally am just a little too short for this dress. Now, luckily, I have a tall, beautiful blonde sister that this dress is going to look striking on. But otherwise, I love it. Let's look at the next piece. Next, I have another top to share with you. I love the floral of this one. They're calling this the navy blue floral print three-quarter sleeve blouse. I'll talk about that in just a moment. The regular price is $24.77. This comes in sizes small through extra large. Just as a point of reference, I am wearing this in a size small and I did find this to be true to size. The fabric on this one is 100% polyester, which I'll also talk about. This does have easy care instructions. It says to machine wash cold and tumble dry. This features an easy pullover styling with a flattering v-neckline. It has button detail, but the buttons are not functioning, which I prefer because then there is no issue with gapping whatsoever. It just adds a little bit of a decorative touch. It does have elastic at the waist, which I'm also a big fan of. I love to see the waist cinched in, and then it falls away into a peplum. And a peplum, as many of you ladies know, hides a multitude of sins. I am a big fan of the peplum style. It does have a tie on the front here, but it doesn't really adjust anything. It's just for decorative purposes. Here's what it looks like on the back. I was surprised to find on the tag that this is polyester because honestly it feels more like a rayon, meaning that it feels lighter weight and a little bit breathable, but it is polyester. I love the print on this. It has this gorgeous navy blue background. Navy blue is one of my favorite colors and especially in the spring and summer. And then I love how it has this delicate floral pattern that doesn't have a whole lot of crazy colors in it. So it's just kind of an ivory with a little bit of khaki. My favorite part about this top, and I think you might find interesting, is that although it's a flutter sleeve, it is much longer than most flutter sleeves. If you don't like to show your upper arms, this one might be a winner for you. To me, this top could be dressed up or dressed down. You could just as easily wear this with denim as you could with white denim or even shorts, white shorts, khaki shorts. I think this is such a cute top. Let's look at the next piece. Next, I have a top to share with you, and I'm going to address the elephant in the room. Yes, this is a loud print, but if you watch my videos regularly, first and foremost, thank you. I appreciate each and every one of you. You know that I love bold color, and I was drawn to this like a moth to the flame because it has a navy blue background, which is my favorite color, and then it also has pops of orange. They're calling this the smocked off-shoulder top. It is only $17.98. It comes in sizes small through extra large. I'm showing it in a size small, and I did find this to be true to size. The fabric is 100% polyester. It has easy care instructions, machine wash cold, and hang to dry. This top has easy pullover style and a smocked bodice with a peplum hem, and you know that I'm a fan of both of those, and then it has puff sleeves with elastic. Now I do want to point out that the polyester on this top has more of what I would describe a slick polyester feel to it, more so than the dresses and all of the other tops that I shared with you. It doesn't offend me necessarily, but I just wanted to point that out, that it has more of a slick, silky feel, if that makes sense. I absolutely love this pattern. I think it's striking. As soon as I saw this, I could immediately picture this with a pair of white jeans or white shorts or even with denim. I noticed that I could wear this both on the shoulder or off, and that kind of helps to negate the heat that the polyester might hold in. This does have elastic here, and I will say that this covers the upper arm. I mention that because if you wear this on the shoulder, you also get really good upper arm coverage with this sleeve length, but you still have this pretty silhouette of the puff sleeve. I would love to know what you think of this one. Is this pattern a bit 
much or do you love this pattern like I do? Let me know in the comments down below. Let's look at the next piece. I also picked up what I would consider a cocktail dress. Because it's black in particular, it looks very formal to me, and yet the price does not sound very formal to me. This is a sleeveless black zipper closure halter dress, which I'll talk about in just a moment. This dress is under $25. It's $24.98. And for a special occasion dress, that is a really good price point for a one and done outfit. This comes in sizes small through 2X. I am wearing a size small. Again, I did find this to be true to size, but when I was choosing the pieces for this video, I was really concerned about sizing and fit. So I went to the chart that they have, it's their sizing chart. I had a tape measure in hand and I took the time to take my measurements and to pick the size that most closely matched my measurements. And I have to say that that sizing chart is spot on. This dress does come in two additional colors. There was a cobalt blue that I absolutely loved. The fabric on this one is 95% polyester and 5% spandex. So it does have just a little bit of stretch. I also want to point out that this has a little bit of a sheen to it. Now that combined with the black makes it look more formal than not to me. This dress has a pretty lattice detail along the bodice and the hemline. The bodice of this dress is quite fitted and this is an example where you really want to pay attention to the sizing chart. I absolutely love the silhouette of this one. It flares out to an A-line skirt. This hit me just above the knee. So it has this pretty cutout detail at the shoulder. And then that same treatment is carried through to the skirt so that it really looks cohesive. I do want to point out that this dress does have a zipper that goes all the way up to the neck. You are going to need an assist to get this zippered. I managed to contort myself and get this zippered most of the way for the try on because I was home alone, but most of us need help with a zipper that's positioned like this anyway, right? I think this is so pretty. I saved this next dress for last because I have really conflicting emotions about it. Right now, I feel like this dress is taunting me because I love almost everything about it. This pattern is so striking. I love a classic black and white. And then the fact that this has a leaf pattern, chef's kiss for spring and summer. I want to tell you about this dress and then my thoughts on it. They're calling this the black bib neck floral print dress. It is $41.87, so the second most expensive piece I've shared with you. But honestly, for a dress like this, I think that's a great price. And you will probably get a sale on the Rotita website anyway. This comes in sizes small through XXL. The fabric is 95% polyester and 5% spandex. It is machine wash cold and tumble dry. And then it says that you can use a low iron if needed. Can we just talk about this print? I love this print so much. I also am very partial to this cutout. You've probably noticed that before. I also think that the contrast print that they chose for this dress is absolutely striking and perfection with the larger print. I love the two different scales. This does have a comfortable smocked elastic waist and it's about two inches wide so it's very comfortable. It's not an elastic waist that's going to dig into your waist at all. This dress was the perfect length for me. I absolutely love the drape and flow of this. It has a little saucy slit, but it's nothing crazy. It's not too high. I do want to mention two concerns with this dress. The first one is, for whatever reason, this one is not lined at all. So it is a little bit sheer. Now, when I held it up to a sunny window, I could see right through it. And yet when I had it on, I really couldn't see through it. Now with that said, if you want to have a little bit more modesty, I don't know why you couldn't wear a half slip under this to come to the knee, just like the liner that's built into the print dress that I showed you at the beginning of this video. I'm a little surprised that this isn't partially lined. I also thought that this would make, and stick with me, a stunning beach cover over a one-piece black bathing suit. But that's not why I picked it up. 
I really like it as a dress. I did want to let you know that it is a little bit sheer. My main issue though is on the back. This one has those fussy little buttons and I have to be honest, I was able to get these buttoned and unbuttoned. I was very surprised. The problem that I had with this dress, and it could just be me, is it is slit from the neckline all the way to the waist, which looks very pretty in theory if you have on a backless bra. I am hard pressed to wear a strapless bra. I don't own a backless bra. Now I'm sure that you're seeing what I'm talking about as you're watching the try-ons off to the side. With the strapless bra or even with the racer back bra, right where this is slit, it's going to show. I personally am really funny about undergarments showing through. I'm just not a fan of strap showing or especially the back hooks of a bra. I'm looking at this dress and I love it so much that I'm seriously considering whip stitching this dress and leaving about a four inch opening at the neck because with the elastic waist, I feel that I could still easily put this on and that would resolve the bra issue. Now you ladies never steer me wrong, so I would love to know what you think of this dress. Be sure and let me know in the comments down below because I am seriously considering sewing this and making it work. I am going to put a link to the Rotita website in the description box below. Rotita does offer free shipping if you spend $69 or more. Now I have to say that it took a hot minute for me to get my Rotita order. And I mention this because if you're ordering something for a special occasion for a specific event, I would err on the side of allowing more time for it to arrive. With the way everything is going on in the world right now, I decided to give Rotita grace, and sometimes it just takes a little bit longer to ship. I also want to mention that Rotita does offer a 30-day money-back guarantee, and that is very important to me. I do not order from companies that do not have a money-back guarantee, because this way I can shop with confidence. I also want to mention that I've been on their site off and on all week long preparing for this video, and I noticed that they free frequently have sales. Right now my computer is flashing that they're having a huge semi-annual sale. They have 30 to 70 percent off and I have to mention that their prices are already very affordable. Pop over to Instagram. <laughs> I can't remember the rest. It was only three sentences. Take two. <laughs> I feel like I'm extra lispy today. I think I need to enunciate more. Let's try this exercise. The rain in Spain falls mainly in the plain. That's pretty interesting because when I try to speak Spanish, I can't roll a R to save my life. But I can say it when I say the rain. I can't read my own handwriting. <laughs> well, that's a problem. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I need reading glasses. I have to hold the card longer than my arm away from me to be able to read it. <laughs> it is $21 and 77. Is that a seven or a nine? <laughs> I don't know. This comes in sizes three. <laughs> sizes three. What? Oh, I guess there is a size three technically. I don't wear a size three. Let's try that again. Some oh, hair in my mouth again. Okay. <laughs> I think I got it. I bet I look all kinds of red and sweaty. Oh goody, another hot flash. The perils of being over 50, am I right? There is a fly somewhere in this room. I can hear it, but I can't see it to catch it. Oh, that's a fast one. <laughs> If it would just leave, I would shut the door. A few moments later. Well, I have to keep going, so you may hear a fly throughout this video. I think the reason I was drawn to this dress, honestly, is I watch a YouTuber when I want to relax. I want to say her channel is called the Cottage Fairy or something like that, but it's this beautiful young lady with long flowing hair, and she almost always has on a dress that looks just like this. 
and I'm back. Now you wouldn't have noticed that I was missing. I turned off the camera because I have the Rotita website pulled up on my computer that I can see from where I'm sitting and I thought I saw a pricing correctly. So I got up to look at it. There is a dress that I want that was originally $45 that's on a flash sale for $9.99. But I digress, this dress does come in two additional colors, right? That's it. I just have to do it. I have to see. I love this dress so much. Now, all I have to do is be able to see this needle and thread. This is why I don't sew. Step one, <laughs> successfully thread a needle. Okay, my mother, rest in peace, is probably laughing at me hysterically in heaven because <laughs> I am trying to thread this needle. I'm thinking I'm going to sew a dress. I can't even get this needle threaded. Okay, it only took me a million years, <laughs> but I got the needle threaded. This is just going terribly, but I'm going to keep going now. I'm committed to this. So I turn this dress inside out because I feel like that's what my mother would say I should do. For those of you that actually sew, you're probably screaming at your screen right now because I'm doing absolutely everything wrong. I have nothing pinned into place. I'm just going to wing it with what I believe is called a whip stitch. Pray for me. <laughs> that looks about right. Here we go. So fun fact, even though I don't sew, I do own a seam ripper, and you know why? Because I make a lot of mistakes when I attempt to sew. My mother also used to say that I sew backwards because I'm left-handed. Is that even a thing? Is that possible? <laughs> or was she just messing with me? 50% chance that I'll get this sewed and won't be able to get this dress on. But I'm committed now. We're doing this. A random question for the sewers out there. If you have a print that's black and white on the seam that you're working on, do you use black thread or white thread? Asking for a friend. All right, now I'm probably sitting here talking to myself, but in the event that any of you are still watching, what I did was whip stitched this dress. I left what I hope is a big enough opening to put my head on when this is unbuttoned. And my hope is that when I put this on, you will no longer be able to see my strapless bra on the back. Let's go put this on and find out. Ladies, I think we just witnessed a miracle. I managed to sew this dress. I am going to run the new try-ons off to the side. Bear in mind that I just did a very loose whip stitch because honestly, I wanted to make sure that it would work first, but I think it does. It covers the bra strap. So now I'm going to go in and put in a proper seam because I love this dress. <laughs> Do you know that 80% of you watching this video right now, yes I see you, are not subscribed? Please take just a moment and hit that subscribe button. It really helps my channel out and lets me know that you want to see more videos from me. Also, pop over to Instagram and follow me over there. I would love to have you as a part of that community. I'm going to pop up a couple of my previous videos here and I will see you next time.